that's chaos, thousands of antenna. We're going to create a modular formula which enables you to do all your tuning. So one simple solution, all one simple tuning, and that just sounds sort of slightly unbelievable. What's in this box is, is it six? Six. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Teamwork. Six solutions to thousands of antenna. Just give some. Just give a brief background about Ignion and the problem that you solve and how you go about doing it. Yeah. So we are the company behind the virtual antenna technology. We've been around for many years now. We are powered more than 60 million devices out there. Actually, being here at CES, we it's it's so cool going around in the show and see how many devices have this little red part. Is that right? Board. Is that it's, right? It's, how it, cool it is really, that? It really stands out, so it's yeah, easy yeah. For, for people to recognize us. And um, uh, it's really uh, uh, cool for us to see people making great devices based on our technology, seeing that by making it easier to do RF, that yep. we're actually starting to make a difference and people start to recognize the work that we've been doing for so many years. Yep. So you talked about, j j just so we give a brief background, we. We know there are thousands of antenna available. How do you get data off the system? Okay, so you come along and gone. That's chaos. Thousands of antenna. We're going to create a modular formula, which enables you to do all your tuning. So one simple solution, all one simple tuning, and that just sounds sort of slightly unbelievable. Yes, slightly unbelievable. So overall, uh, RF is seen as black magic. Yes. Um, a lot of people, they don't know about the capabilities of the antenna side of RF. Uh, it's often an afterthought and it's something that people doing wireless devices are generally struggling with. Yes. And we are here in the Isn't world... Isn't it strange that that's an afterthought? The whole point of your device is to get data from one place to another. Exactly. And, and it's like saying, I'm planning a journey, but I'm not going to think about the motorway that I'm going to go on. It's like I'm building a car, but let me think about the wheels uh, later. Yeah, later, yeah. yeah. So, so what we are trying to do here is to make people put the wheels first, put the antenna first. Yeah. But in, in order to get people to do that, we've got to make it easy. Yes. And that's where we have the unique virtual antenna technology that is the most flexible, yeah. high performance, so just, cost optimized so, technology on the market. So very briefly, just talk us through what's in that box. So we uh, turn them around like this. So we basically have our whole portfolio here of antennas. Yep. Other manufacturers have hundreds of devices. Yep. Thousands. And even thousands. So, so what's in this box, what's in this box is, is it six? Six. 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 Yeah. yeah, well done. Teamwork. Six solutions to thousands of antenna. Yeah, basically you can, you can tune each of these antennas to anything you want. You can, yep. you can make each of these antennas become a Bluetooth antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, cellular antenna, ultra wideband, you name it. Yeah. So, let's put that to one side. Design, engi design engineering communities are cynical. Yes. They go around shows, they listen to our videos, and they have to truly believe there's a very, very important word called trust. Yes. So they might know you now, they might understand that you have six antennas that fill, that fill the gap between all those thousands uh, and, you, and, and you can give that as a simple solution. And that sounds great. So they, they know you, they understand you, and then they've got to trust you. So the simplest way for them to trust you is to see it, is yes. to actually see it in place and working. So why don't you talk us through where this is actually working and how you solve that problem? Yeah, so a few really cool examples uh, that we've been working on for a while uh, with our partners at Nordic Semiconductor. Yep. Uh, here we have the new Thingy 91X platform. This is a prototyping platform where people can just take the cellular design that also has GPS and Wi-Fi and, and start deploying them in the field for asset tracking and other applications. Now, this platform has both a cellular antenna, a GNSS antenna, and a PLE and Wi-Fi antenna. So, very All important. All three. All, All three, three. In one little antenna. In one little package. Yeah. So, uh, this is a really cool example of uh, what you can do with our technology where you can really get a compact design that still has high performance, long range, long battery life, and, as a, at a, and still in a cost-optimized uh, solution. So um, now we are being at CES. So obviously asset tracking and smart metering and so on, those are a good, cool applications, but at CES it's, it's a lot about the consumer products. Yep. 
So another demonstrator that we built with Nordic recently is this little corn cell uh, BLE uh, demonstrator that has our nano antenna on there. Yep. It's so small you almost can't see it, but you see a little, a small red dot. Oh yeah, that's a our, that's bit. our yep. Uh, yep. nano antenna. So so this one um, is this based on, on the top of the board. This one is based on Nordic's uh, uh, new PLE platform, right. uh, the the NRF 54, um, and is showcasing how small you can go, um, still in a so power in, optimized in, 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 and range in, optimized and in, and in consumer product size is everything. Yes. The smaller, the less power, the less bill of materials, the better. All of the above. And a lower cost. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, yes. so uh, here at CES, also like a, a traditional uh, consumer devices like a, a computer accessories or gaming type of devices. Yep. Uh, the industry is waking up on the antenna topic, and yep. especially for like things like high-end gamer devices where low latency is important. Absolutely. We see a lot of. And that, and. Uh, and you know, for the sake of the community, uh, we, I don't know how many videos we've done at CES, but this word latency, this whole concept, because this has all got to work in real time. When you move, it's got to be... Exactly, in, it's got to yeah, be there. It, there can be no latency. So I must have heard, uh, last year was all about AI, I heard AI said, mentioned about 5,000 times. This year, the word latency has come up a lot. Okay. So this whole concept of making sure these devices work in time with the movement of the consumer is, I'd say, actually the key word of CES. Latency has been a key, a well, key word. Well, and, and, and the thing is, when people talk about latency, they don't realize that when it comes about wireless devices, the antenna plays a huge role in the latency. Even though there's a connection, it they is. might lose a few bits and bytes here and there, which will uh, make longer latency. Yeah. So by making sure that the RF is optimized to make sure that you get that great uh, consumer experience that we all want yeah, with yeah. these products. Which you're not allowed. That's what we're enabling with our technology. And there is no room for maneuver there. It either works or it doesn't. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You know, if, 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 if you're wearing one of those or if you're gaming or if you're doing whatever you're doing and there is a latency, as far as the consumer is concerned, that doesn't work. No. That doesn't work. It doesn't. I mean, it it, it, even though even though the manufacturer might say, "Well, it's ninety-seven percent working," yeah, no, no, it doesn't work. Exactly. That's how that works. Exactly. So, so your technology is is, is playing the part in latency. And, and, and exactly, and and we make it easy to do that. So, so, so not only by using uh, our small parts like this, uh, but also using our design platform, Arxion, the AI-based design tool, where people automatically get these custom designs for their devices in seconds, building their digital prototypes in the Arxion environment, being able to quickly then get their hardware done and get to market. That's also an important factor for the whole consumer industry, right? The time to market is it's critical. And that's yeah. also where... So, so, so you we, have an environment that makes that much, much easier to yeah. do. Excellent. Well, yeah. we've, we've talked concept, you know, when, when you start, when you start in a process, when you start in a process of living in a world of thousands of antenna, and then you go, oh, okay, someone's come up with a modular formula, and you go, oh, okay, well that's interesting, and then you that, and then you understand that you, know, if you take this device here, where there's there, there's three antenna on there, and as they're all from you, they've all tuned themselves, which I, I only discovered this year is a very complicated concept. That whole idea of having them all self-tuning and talking to each other seamlessly is actually really, really important. And then we got this little fella here, which is all about latency and making sure that devices like that don't let the consumer down and the manufacturer down. Yep. Well, I think that's been a very fantastic CS update from Ignion. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Pleasure. Thank you.